No, I must I must need to do my my. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Continue. Instead of carrying out the orders. Instead of carrying out the orders for the patient, she decided to leave the orders for the next shift. And then, and I said to her, "Well, how do you know that that shift won't be busy, and will and will be able to actually do what you should be doing now? Maybe there's someone in the emergency room, the operating room, who'll be coming to the unit." So you can't assume that they're not going to be busy, so you're leaving something for them to do. And she be, she became very upset, very angry. <laughs> had, we had to take her, I had to call the supervisor, take her into counseling, and I was not happy, <laughs> and she was not happy. <laughs> and then that evening when I went home, and, and, and by the way, she did have to go and do what she needed to do because it was just the right thing to do. At any rate... When I went home that evening, I was mulling over what had happened. And the Lord said to me, within myself, just as clearly as could be, when you go back to work tomorrow, treat her as if what happened yesterday didn't even happen. In other words, clean the slate, mm -hmm. give, her, give her the opportunity to start again. And that was a lesson that I had learned from the nurse who was in charge of the operating room. Because sometimes the, one of the staff would send a patient to the OR and the chart wasn't quite in order. And she would get on the phone. She used to call me Pat. And she would say, Pat, <laughs> Mrs. So-and-so came down, down to the operating room and I don't have A, B, C, D on the chart. And I need someone from your floor to go to the lab and get the results that are needed mm -hmm. and bring them to the, to the operating room <laughs> because we do not have time to run around and get those things. <laughs> and and I, was, I would be, oh, her name was Cynthia. I was, I was like, okay, Cynthia, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And we would do it and someone would take it there. And no matter when I saw Cynthia again after that happened, Cynthia greeted me, spoke to me, and treated me as if it had never happened. I learned that lesson from Cynthia. And the Lord was um, reaffirming my need to treat the, the, the nurse on my unit the same way Cynthia had treated me. That's a godly principle that she uh, exemplified mm -hmm. doing that. Yeah, that's that 70 times 7 or 7 times 70. Yeah, that's 70. <laughs> In a day. In a day. In a day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because I need to clear some memory off my phone. That's why these videos keep getting cut off. I have another minute or so that I can wrap this up. Anything you'd like to add at the end of this video? I think I've said enough. I think you said wonderful things, Mother. Thank you. So for those of you who are uh, happy about Mother coming on, yes, I'm hoping that we can do these videos more often. My Jules wasn't able to join us today, but I'm hoping that the time will come in the near future that she can join us as well. Good Saturday morning to you. Stay well. Be safe. Um, don't walk in fear. Don't be deep. That's right. And don't be foolish. That's right. Follow the laws of the land. Believe That's God right. to t take care of you and to trust uh, to to take care of you and to keep you. Trust Him to keep you. And know that God has the final say. God is in control. We are still in the middle of this. COVID-19, dealing with uh, this mandatory stay-at-home um, and social distancing, but um, it doesn't mean that we're going to give up on God. We'll never give up on God because he'll right. never give up on us. He said he'd never leave. He'd never forsake us. We're going to trust him to do what he said he would do. So have a great day. This is tomorrow is the day that we celebrate Resurrection Sunday. So remember that Jesus is the only true and living God. He is our Savior. He's our Lord. And we're celebrating him. The Easter Bunny's cute, but the Easter Bunny didn't get up from no grave. Amen. <laughs> and Jesus is alive and well. Yes, he is. Sitting and at, at the, the right hand of right right. Yeah, That's right. Making intercession for That's us. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Be blessed, ladies. Mwah. Ladies and maybe gentlemen. Some and gentlemen. Too. Ladies and gents. Y'all have a great Saturday. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's how you're supposed to say it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>